I'm working on a new program, OliDump, and uh, I use it to extract data from uh, Microsoft Office files. And uh, since I tweeted about it, several people have uh, expressed interest in uh, having a go at it. So that's why I'm making this quick video and uh, making uh, the beta of uh, my program uh, available. So uh, OliDump, and you pass it for example an Excel file with uh, VBA and uh, OliDump will then print all the streams that it finds in the, in the OLE file. So the streams are numbered so that you can uh, select them from 1 to 10 here. Here the status indicator M indicates that those streams contain uh, macros. This is uh, the size of each stream and this is uh, the name of uh, a stream. So I can select stream 7 here which contains uh, macros. Okay. And then you get an, uh, an ASCII dump if you uh, do this. You can also do a, a X dump with X and uh, dump the files, the content, like this. Now let's go back to the ASCII dump here. Okay, you can see this 01 here. This is uh, the beginning of uh, the compressed VBA mac macros. So normally uh, VBA macros stored in, uh, in uh, Office files like Excel uh, they are compressed uh, with a with a special like algorithm, and uh, I wrote a decompressor in Python uh, for uh, this compressed data. So you have here one that indicates the start of compressed data. These two bytes here, they indicate the size of the compressed data, and also a flag here, the B, a flag that tells it if uh, the file. Uh, sorry, the data is compressed or not. So here it is compressed. And then, following that, you have chunks of uh, compressed data. And each chunk starts with a status byte. And the status byte, every bit, tells it if uh, the next uh, couple of bytes have to be taken literally or if they reference other bytes. So 0, 0 here tells it tells us that uh, all the bytes have to be taken literally. So the eight following bytes here have to ta be taken literally. And that is a trip, you see. Then zero again, all the others. That's e vb underscore num. And then we are here, and so on. And that is how you can decompress uh, the data. And that is what I did in my program. So if you take option minus V, it will extract the VBA mac macro, like this. Now I've also noticed that uh, my program OLEDUMP not only works on uh, VBA uh, macros, but also protected macros. So those that are protected by a password. Like this here, you can see the streams, and here stream 7 contains uh, macros. So let's have a look. Stream 7, V, and you can see that you can see the content of the module, even if it is uh, password protected. Now, you might ask, wonder why I'm still developing programs for such an old file format. But the thing is that uh, this file format is still used in the new Office's uh, file formats. So, here we have several test files, and one of them here is a new file format, XLSM. And you know that uh, this file format is actually a, a compressed uh, zip file. So I'm going to have a look inside with my zip dump uh, utility. 
Okay, and here you can see the different files inside uh, the zip file that is actually the new file format for um, Office. Uh, so most of the time it is uh, XML files that you find, but if there are macros inside you will find VBA micro.bin as a file and this file still uses the OLE file format so it is not uh, XML it is the new, uh, the old, sorry, OLE file format. Let me select that file so that's NX VBA project dot bin okay so that's the file I'm going to dump it well first of all no let's have a look at the NASCII dump okay ASCII dump here you can see doc file so this is the magic uh, string uh, the bi magic byte sequence for a NOLI file so I can extract this file I can dump it and then pass it on to my new OLE dump tool okay and now you can see the streams inside this and there are some uh, VBA streams like this module 1 with macros so we can select stream 3 and view the macros like this stream 5 sorry stream 5 and that's the other uh, macro sheet included so even uh, in the new file formats the old file format is still used for uh, macros now that is uh, macros what my tool can also do is uh, look at uh, embedded files so here I have a Excel file with a small embedded text file and if you do this you will see a file which is byte 01 OLE 10 native and that is actually the embedded file if you look for that string and then you will find embedded files in uh, your uh, office documents so I can select this stream like this Okay. so and the first four bytes here indicate the size of the stream then you have two zero meaning unknown then you have the file name terminated by zero the file part terminated by zero again some of flags here the size of the next string but the string is also terminated by zero this string is a full part a temporary part and then here a000 you have the size of the embedded content and here one two three four five six seven eight nine that is the embedded file and then again some file names so that's the structure of uh, an embedded file in uh, an OLE stream here and if you select this you can look at the info with option I and now you can clearly see the names test.txt comes from the test uh, the, from the demo directory and um, will be temporarily stored in this file and it contains 10 bytes you can extract the file itself like this and this is the file now this is a simple text file but I also have this for uh, an executable this one here and here again you can see 01 only 10 native with another uh, prefix and a rather large size 58,000 uh, bytes now I can select this stream 5 and then it will be 
dumped. So let's take the 21st lines like this, okay? And you can see here the MZ that indicates that it is uh, a DOS uh, file. And then here uh, the typical string that is found in executables. Okay, so this is the executable. We can look at the information like this and then of course extract it. And then you can direct it to a file like this or pipe it into another command so that you don't have to touch the disk and let it do with p check okay and you can indeed see that it is uh, an executable because pe check is able to parse the file uh, you have the entropy the hashes and then here the different uh, sections you can find and then all the data that pe check shows you okay so that was a quick overview of uh, my new tool I'm working on, uh, OliDump.